Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our lesson on the history of communication. One of the first types of communication you see right behind me, cave glyphs that people used to write to communicate and leave messages for each other and record their history. And then somebody came up with another great idea, is attaching a message to a bird and sending the bird from one place to another place, carrying the message, was a lot quicker than cave glyphs. Later on, when technology came around, you can see here a telegraph. They used to push this little button right here and, uh, and send a message with dashes and dots along a wire, like a telephone pole. After the telegraph was one of the first telephones, which you can see right here you speak into, and this thing you put up to your ear. And you can only call people with telephones. Then, a great idea, the radio. We could put a radio in everybody's home and communicate with, instead of just one person, lots of people. And then all of a sudden, bam, the television, which was in black and white in the beginning and very large, as you can see. Now, after the television, now the first computer. And the first computer was so large that it took up an entire room. Can you believe it? And then, wow the first cell phone, which was as big as a bag and very, very inaccurate as to who you could call. And, as you can see here, we can see how telephones have changed over time. Here's our newest and one of our oldest cell phones. And bam, now, all of a sudden, cell phones, computers are now in our pockets. Tablets are in our hands. And we can communicate in real time with each other. Computers are on our desks. And people can type and chat with the whole world. Look at how fast, over the years, technology has changed and improved. We can communicate instead of with just one person, with many people all over the world. So hopefully you saw and learned a little bit about technology and how it has changed. Thank you very much.